This one he's hit well, but it could be down the throat of deep square. No, it's gone over him. That is beautifully timed by Daniel Bell Drummond. Kent's first boundary. It's gone all the way for six. Quality, quality batting. This over. This one he's hit Just well, but it could be straight. down the throat That's of deep square. No, it's gone over him. That, that is well. beautifully timed by Daniel Bell Drummond. To being four strips down. Kent's first. Crawley now, didn't get all of it, but he's got to get a boundary. A couple of bounces over the rope. The Kent have had a look for a couple of overs. And now they're just putting the foot on the gas. It's gone again, this could be out. Might just get over. Oh, what a catch, he's gone, Zach Crawley has gone. I think that is Hammond running back at mid-off. The... And he pulls this one, he's hit it hard. And he's gone all the way, I think. Yep watching the umpire raise his arm, so that's two sixes in that direction. One for Bell Drummond. And now... Then Lee, I think has gone. I think he's tried one of those little improvised shots. He's really been working hard on that side of the game. We saw him get out, didn't we, against Somerset, going the other way with a little reverse scoop. Tried to paddle that one over short fine leg. He adjusts to it, but a good catch though. Yeah, good catch, big Marshall to Langer uh, with the catch. Hits this one well, and that's got over mid-off. So didn't take him long to hit his stride. Nice looking shot that over mid-off. First boundary for him. Coming back from injury, it's all very much about rhythm and stuff. But it can also be a bonus. It can really give you time to work on your skills as you're coming back. And I think Mark. Goes again. This shot is even better and even bigger. Has it gone all the way? Just waiting for the signal, no, just he needed no second invitation, just whopped it straight back over his head and he's off and running. Oh, bold! What an introduction! Grand Van Buren. Love to see that one again. What a delivery. Right, let's see from this angle. Yeah, just trying to hit maybe a length that wasn't quite there. Slow ball pulled. Gone! Another fine catch, really impressive. Gloucestershire in the field, that's Cameron Bancroft. Daniel Bill Drummond just swiveled on that, it was a slower ball, it was there to be hit. Going that way, but it's going to be really hard to time that shot, so not a bad decision. A couple of short balls here from Marshall de Langer. And Reverse sweep, hit nicely by Billings, trademark shot. Going to get a boundary. Couldn't be reeled in, in fact it was the de, de Langer at uh, backward square. So, yeah. That's it. That's an impressive shot normally, but on a, I feel like even on a pitch like this, that's even more impressive. The time was that as well as he has done there. Reassess, 145, 150. Billings down the wicket, hit it straight. Fielder isn't going to get there. That is a good looking shot. Just a four, didn't quite get all of it. Down again, reverses, gets it in the gap. That's going to run down towards us. Might be a catch for Becker next to me. Could have gone for it one handed. It's up, it's high, it's in the gap over extra, it's a cracking shot, and it's four more to Sam Billings. Slower ball, and that's well hit. That is really well hit from Sam Billings. Yeah, use of feet again, so he, he's taken what he's learned from facing the spinners, and he... It's up in the air from... But there's a mix up here, gonna have to hurry. And he's gone, I think. Great bit of work from. Yeah, it's little cutter, glove down leg side. I think Bilbo didn't want the run. See me AA's halfway down. Kind of called for it again. And that's like the third attempted run out. And that's the first one that's his. Taylor returning. This has gone straight up. This is not what Kent needed. Billings is walking. Yeah, and he's gone. This time a shot like that, that he's hit pretty well already. Coming down the track again, using his feet. He'll be frustrated he's not got hold of it, but it's it's not an easy track to bat on, so he's done well. And this could be out. Oh, what a catch! Gloucestershire have been high class. Back in bingo terms, that's two fat ladies. Not sure if we can say that these days, but that was the old bingo chart, wasn't it? That was incredibly athletic. So that is more like it. We talked about the boundary count. Paul, he could be gone this time though. Hammond won't drop that. Another catch for him. It's 122 for eight. Yeah, never out of the game, Hammond. One of the best fielders sort of going around. Gloss are always known for being. 
Swing and a miss once again from Gilchrist. <laughs> Giving him, so he's gone. So once again, Bracey has a victim. I think that might even be classified as a stumping. Could be wrong. No, he's given us a run out. I'm not sure. It's going to be run out. It's got to go. It's gone. Yeah, it's a brilliant bit of work from Bracey and Payne. Kind of summed up what Gloucestershire have been about in the field. They have been excellent. They have bowled Kent out here. Hammond, lovely shot on the up. It wasn't a bad delivery from Gilchrist. It'll run with the slope. Well, Drummond is after it. He's not going to catch it. That is Gloucestershire's first boundary. High class shot for Miles Hammond. Touch wide there from Gilly. It's not ever going to come back up the slope necessarily here. It's going to hang out there. Four more to Hammond. A little bit of width on offer this time. Once again, was on the up. It wasn't a bad length. Just around the wicket. It wasn't a terrible delivery, was it? You know, six inches outside, off stump, top of the off stump. Just Bartlett again from the pavilion end, full and driving. And that's a lovely shot, and he's going to get four more. So three shots through the covers, all of them handsome. Some start here. He's a 16 off 11. A touch full, but still a really nice shot from Hammond there. Oh. That has gone for four, and that is unlucky. It's kind of sums up Kent's day so far. Nothing. So Hammond goes over, and that could go all the way. Does indeed. What a shot that is. It's kind of in the slot with a little bit of width. Yeah, just a touch full, a touch wide, maybe. A couple of hours ago as Gilchrist is back and he's been edged over short third man. It's going to race away as well. Not the middle of the bat. Hammond won't care. He moves to 30. Gloucestershire 37 without loss. Take two forms of dismissal out of play. Threaded this one through the gap as well. So this is high class batting from Hammond. 6 4 4. Slog sweep. He's picked the gap. Really nice shot. Didn't get all of it. And a signal from the square leg umpire to. Bancroft goes up and he's going to get runs here and he might get four of them. Bit of a thick edge going up the hill towards the country stand and he does get a boundary. So uh, good start to the over and that wasn't a bad ball. It wasn't whipped out. A very useful player, particularly at this level. He's pulling here. He's got all of this. Ah, it's about a foot short of the rope. It's going to be four. You can't bowl there to a man who's opened the batting in test cricket. Father now, of course, as well. Oh, what a shot that is from Hammond just in the slot but he's lifted that almost into the Oriole Lime Tree Cafe and that is 50 and what a way to bring it up just oh, a lovely shot that it's just stepped across ever so slightly and opened up that leg side picks that one up leg side as well it's kind of in a gap not as attractive a shot he's going to get four for it not a bad delivery from Xavier Bartlett Hammond's gone again. What a shot that is, aiming at the floodlights now. Beautiful shot for Miles Hammond using the breeze. We said repeated the dose from earlier in the over. Quality batting. Yeah, similar to the last one again. Touched too full. Hammond's down. He's gone straight. This is into the wind. It's not going to matter. Stewart's got some work to do. He dives. Ian playing quite beautifully. Moves on to 72. It was a career best as soon as he went past 63, so. Hammond goes short side again, and I think he's going to get six more. This has been on the brink, 117 without loss. Need just another nine. For someone else who is keeping going is Miles Hammond, but he has found a fielder this time, and there's an ironic cheer from the Kent crowd as Hammond goes for a brilliant 80. And on a, at a day that has shown it's not the easiest pitch to bat on. I think he sort of made the two innings look the difference there. He's done exactly that. Bancroft has come over us under that white gazebo. The call is heads. As the kids duck out of the way, that is an, em an emphatic way to win it from the Australian. He was 11.4 overs, 127 for one. They win by nine wickets. Their net run rate.